All right, y'all, I got my man Jacob in the chair. We're gonna do a little kind of a burst fade, a little shag in the back. We're gonna add some texture to the back, cut the top down. Burst fade on the sides, a little, uh, little mohawk shag, something like that, crop on top. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of clear the side down. We're gonna take a number three, straight up off into the top. We'll cut the top after, so it doesn't have to be a flawless transition. We will clean that up. We're just coming straight up off the head, through the hair, and as we work around to the back, We'll do the same thing back here. So we're just kind of flicking into the back. We don't want to leave too much of a line if we can help it. And we're just going to cut the whole side down to a three so we can come in and do our little burst taper. Now we want to kind of follow this same shape right here. So I'm going to look where I want to start. We're going to start kind of at the C cup. We'll work it straight up over around the ear. And then we're going to come off of this dark right here. We'll line up all of this down here. So we'll come right off of this and follow that guideline up around the ear, kind of in the same shape as we connect it to the top. So you guys can see, we'll cut the guideline in. That was just kind of a way to get it in, pivoting my fingers like I would doing a lineup around the ear. Now I can clean it up now that I have it kind of established. Then we'll go ahead and ball it out underneath, coming with the shaver. Like normal, get it all the way down the skin and we can start our first step going up. All right, so on the side, I'm gonna use the slime shaver from TPOB. Just a little bit smaller. We don't have a ton of room behind the ear, so this is gonna help me get around the ear. I could use the double foil, but we don't have a whole lot to cover, so this is gonna do it just fine. You guys see I kind of set the guideline. I don't know if you can tell, but we got stubble up here, shaver underneath. Now I'll just tap it on the line to make sure that blends together, and then we can start our open section going up from here. All right, guys, so following the same shape, about a half inch up, set my open section, just kind of flicking out. Not too harsh of a guideline, but I do want to make sure that it's in there. And then back here, we'll work a little bit skinnier in the back and get thicker as we get up towards this part. So you guys got to make sure the hair is going down, so we're going to have to cut up. We can't really cut this way. A little, you can kind of do it a little bit like this and flick out into it. We just want to make sure that we have a nice consistent guideline going around and then we can start to take that line out from the bottom. All right, so first thing we're going to come in with the boosted all the way closed. Just going to bump this bottom line out. Super easy. You guys know my system. I use the slim line to put the line in. The boosted closed will take the line out. So we'll bump that up just a little bit. We'll go ahead and open it a little bit further. Bump it up a little bit further. And then we will open it up basically to the fourth notch because I don't have notches. I just kind of feel where the clipper is. But we went close and then I went more or less to the second notch right now. Then we will go to the fourth notch more or less. So now we're on the fourth and now we'll take that last little hint of a line out. Working our way up to the top of this section. You guys see it comes together super easy. We can polish it up if we need. We'll go ahead and open this up, clean up the top of that section, make sure that it's good, and then we can move on. Next up, we'll come in with the one guard all the way open, another half inch. I'm gonna set another guideline following the same shape, guys. You're always gonna follow your shape, the shape of the haircut, the shape of the fade should go with the shape of the haircut as much as possible. And each of our guidelines will follow that same shape as well. You guys see, we'll just set the guideline in. Not super harsh. We don't want, you know, we're, we're getting to the length of our fade. We started with a three, so we're getting closer to that. So we don't need a super harsh guideline. We just want to see what we're doing. Now we got the guideline in, we can start to work that line out from the bottom. I'll come in with my one guard all the way closed. I'm going to go about halfway into the section. And guys, I know that the half guard is going to take the line all the way out. And you can see he's got some pretty light hair, pretty easy to blend. Um, but we know with the way that our system works that the half guard is going to have to tie all this together. We're just using the one closed to lighten it up and now we can come in with the half guard and get anything else that's left before we move on to this last line. So here's the half guard guys, halfway open is going to be the sweet spot. If you guys need it outside of that, feel free to use it. But really the sweet spot between the open clipper and the closed one is going to be the sweet spot. So that's going to get anything out that's left. Again, if you got a spot that's not coming out and you want to open it up or close it, like back here I got a little bit of a line, you open it up, kind of that's where the one is, so I want to be careful. You can go in here and soften it up with the half guard a little bit more open. If you got a spot that won't come out with it half open, then feel free to close it up. 
We'll go in here and get this spot. You guys just have to be careful because most of the fade is finished. And if we close that half guard up and take the wrong lick, then we can cause more harm than good. So we just want to be careful. You see I'm being really careful. We got this side almost all the way together, super quick and easy. So we started with a three, we're gonna go in with a two and start to take this line out. And again, guys, just like the last part, we know that the two is not gonna take the line all the way out. There's too big of a gap between the open one and the two, and we know that the one and a half is what it's gonna take to really tie all this together. So we're just blending into our three, lightening up the guideline, knowing that the one and a half is gonna take that out. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up just for safety. And I'm just looking at this little bit of a line back here, a little bit of a tough area to blend. So just spend a little bit of extra time on that before you go in. You go in with something too short, too sharp, you're gonna go in and gash, and we're gonna have a hard time connecting all this together. So we'll come in later if we need to with scissors and kind of clean that up. But for now, the two guard close is gonna hit it a little bit, and now I can move on to the one and a half. All right, last but not least, guys, one and a half, halfway open. It should tie all of this together that we just did. So we got a two above it, a one open under it, and a one and a half should connect all that. I'm just using the corner of my clipper back here to be careful. Again, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and flick it through right here to kind of blend that better and get rid of some of these lines. Now I closed it, came underneath. You guys can see the one and a half has tied it all together. We got a nice, clean, consistent blend. Once we do some texture on the back, I'll come in and hit some of this and make sure that it looks as good as we want. Just a little touch up right here with the open one. Just making sure this all ties together. Now the closed one. Just didn't really like this dark spot right here, so I'm just adjusting. Coming back in. See, now it's cleaned up. We're done with this side. I'm gonna go ahead and blend the beard in. We're not gonna take a lot off. I'm just gonna take my number two. We're gonna go with the grain at the top of the cheek just to tie in the sideburn to the rest of the beard length. Now I can flip it, come up here in the skinny part right by the ear, cut it down with a two, and then we can fade our way up to fade this all the way up. Now, just like the sides, guys, number two, then a one and a half, half open, and then an open one, close one. We can go ahead and take that off, open clipper. I'm just doing the same steps as the sides, guys, just reverse. It's actually easier going up because of the way that the hair grows. So you'll see we got that blended out. Now at the top of that, we can come in with our trimmer. Last, shortest length right there. If we need the shaver above it, we can, just to make sure it ties into the side. Boom, and now that side's done. We'll go ahead and edge up this vertical bar, the back bar of the beard right here. Go ahead and edge up this side. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side if you guys wanna follow along. I'm gonna time lapse it. We'll get back together when we get to the front.
guys, we're gonna kind of do a little trim and add some texture at the same time. So, so down for me. Take a section, you know, we could cut it all blunt if we want, but I'm just gonna kind of take a section. We're gonna trim it while we add texture. So taking off about a, a quarter inch, half inch, and adding texture at the same time. So my high points are not getting cut a whole lot. My low points are getting cut down about a half inch. I'm just kind of, this is kind of the tough thing to explain because it's consistent, but it's inconsistent. The highs are consistent, the lows are consistent, but we're actually kind of messing up the top and making it inconsistent. So that's kind of the point of these messy haircuts, these crop haircuts. Just coming in, doing a deep point cut all the way through. Then we will come up each side panel, same thing. And then I'll add some texture in the back with my feather razor. Back, we're gonna come in with my finger razor. If you guys haven't seen it, you can check it out on my website. I will put the link in the description. I'm gonna start on this top layer. The hair is saturated. I'm just gonna come in and add some texture to the top. Then we're gonna move some of this layer out of the way, get some of the hair underneath. I said it's just a little bit bulky and uh, kind of just falls down when he goes to style it. So we're just taking out some of that bulk. But you guys understand when you do this like I am, you're only affecting that top layer. So what I'm gonna do is move some of that hair out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and wet it again. So it'll stay out of the way. I'm gonna move that top layer out of the way. You see we just took some of this. Now I can comb down that next layer underneath. We'll hit it a little bit. So you guys just use the comb to hold the hair. And you just scrape the razor on the hair just like you would if you were shaving somebody. And we're just taking out some of the bulk. So now we can take another section about a half inch to an inch lower, coming down. Same thing, we'll just hit this right here. We're just adding some loose texture, so. Now we get to the bottom, guys. Pretty short hair, so we're just gonna kinda go in where it looks heavy, break it up a little bit, add some texture to it so you can get a little bit looser of a style. Not so bulky and heavy. All right, guys. If you haven't seen, Indestructible Clay is back on Amazon only. I wanna show you guys the power of this clay. I'm gonna use like a little bit quarter size, nickel size, and this hair is totally dry. We're not gonna blow dry it. I just want you guys to see how good this clay works. So I'm gonna take it, rub it in my hands real well, emulsify it, really warm it up, guys. I'm gonna work it all through his hair. You guys hear that on the... It ain't really doing nothing, but... I'm gonna work it all the way through his hair, and I'm gonna come in and add some powder after, so. I just like to kind of shake it in, but I want you guys to see this is why this product has been so sought after. And it was out of stock for so long, but it is back now. And if it's something that you guys haven't used, you definitely got to check it out. My favorite thing about it, guys, you can wash it right off your hands just with water. So a lot of products are so nasty and thick and whatever that you really got to scrub with hot water and soap. This will rinse right out. It will also wash right out, obviously, with shampoo, so it's super easy. And you guys see the messy style we just got. I just put his hair in another video a little while back where we used the diffuser to bring out the texture. But you guys can see just with that product how much texture we get. And I just like to scrunch it in with my fingers. We'll go ahead and add some powder just to kind of dry it up. Show you guys kind of the trifecta of using these products together. But that's the clay by itself. Now we'll add some powder. Now guys, this is 245 Pure Powder. This is in the pump, so we can pump it and it goes out. So I'm gonna kinda pull it back and pump it down into the hair. I wanna get it down low, down into the root. And this is just gonna dry up any moisture that's left in the hair. It's gonna give you some hold. It's gonna kinda make any shine that's left, if there was any shine from any product or water, it's gonna get rid of the shine. We'll just dust it in. And the two products combined, guys, should give us a really nice, loose, messy style. All right, guys, check that out. That is the best clay I've ever used, guys. Absolutely the best. This is what I use in my hair. Now that I have it back, it is what I use in my client's hair as much as possible. Anything textured, 
This is the product that I'm turning to. So like I said, guys, you can get it on Amazon. I believe it is $14.99, but it is absolutely the best. And the powder you guys can get on 245.com. All right, guys, that is it for the cut. Kind of a burst mohawk crop on top. Super textured. We added some texture to the back, so it wasn't styled so flat. You guys can see kind of a mohawk rounded in the back. Super textured on the back and on top. If you guys like the video, do me a favor, smash that thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed. I'm recording like crazy today. You guys leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of this cut. And I'll catch you guys next time.